Thank you for staying with us on News Across Nigeria. Let's visit with Abia State now. Hard times for petroleum pipeline vandals and drug peddlers in Abia State as the men of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps and the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency have upped their game to checkmate the activities of these criminals. While the Civil Defense Corps arrested five persons carrying unrefined gas in a truck on their way to Umahia from Port Harcourt, River State, the NDLEA in Aba apprehended a drug baron with 155 kg of marijuana. Here's the story. Over 100 drums of unrefined crude were impounded and five persons arrested in connection with the crime. This truck, supposedly carrying empty crates of beer, was found to be a camouflage. After a closer look, 75 drums of stolen crude were found neatly concealed in it. Although investigation is ongoing to ascertain if the transport company is involved in the oil theft, the commandant, NSCDC, Abia State, Dr. Benito Aza said that the dastard acts by these vandals cost government a lot of money. Blue gas, which is an unrefined petroleum product, is a product of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And anybody accosted with it, in possession of it, is doing an illegal deal, which is an offense that is chargeable to the law court. In a similar operation, a courier for a drug baron in Aba was caught by men of the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency in a car with police emblem and army uniforms carrying 16 bags of marijuana. As security agencies continue to curb these criminalities, the government has been challenged to play its part by engaging youths in the state to keep them from indulging in such vices. And finally, to Delta State now, the crisis in OVA local government council seems not to be nearing its end as the legislature has suspended the acting chairman of the council, Honorable Stella Dabona, for acting in defiance of the order of the legislature. The indefinite suspension of the acting chairman was contained in a motion signed by 13 members of the OVA legislature. The motion, which was moved by Honorable Honorio de Emesone, alleged that the acting chairman of the council, Honorable Stella Dabona violated the resolution of the legislature directing that the accounts of the local government council be frozen, pending when circumstances warrant a reversal. The legislature therefore ordered the Speaker of the House, Honorable Raymond Ebimiwe, to act as the acting chairman. But in a swift reaction, the Chairman Ad Hoc Committee on Investigation of Local Government Affairs, Honorable Oboro Preyo, condemn the action of the OVA local government legislators, saying it is likely to cause a breach of peace in that area. And in another development, supporters of Honorable Henry Barrow, the elected chairman of the OVA local government, who was earlier suspended by the State House of Assembly, have staged a peaceful protest, calling for his immediate reinstatement since he was duly elected as council chairman. They warned against undue interference in matters affecting OVA local government, as well as the continued stay in office of Stella de Bona, despite a legitimate sack by the council legislature. And that was what was unfolding in Delta State. With that story from the south-south part of the country, where earlier we also went to Borno State, Kaduna State, came back to Lagos, had a field day in Northern State, it brings us to an end of this edition of News Across Nigeria. Thank you for watching. I'm Alumdi Macaulay. See you again.